I grew up in a mining town in central Newfoundland called Buckins, tiny place, about uh, probably 1,500 people. And I've been thinking about uh, myself as a youngster. I left when I was 14, so I've been thinking about myself as a kid in that town a lot. And um, there was a certain point in a boy's age in a, a place as small as Buckins where you were kind of let loose. You know, you were basically kicked out the door and left to your own devices. Uh, and uh, and when, when that first happens, you're old enough to know you want trouble, but you're not even really sure what the trouble is that you're after. So this is a, this is a piece about that time between um, called boys. Not old enough to pay for our trouble or even name it, we wandered the town after dark like dogs, half tamed at best. We set small fires and hurled rocks and pissed against school doors, nosing the margin of the disallowed, the out of bounds. We ranged as far as the train trestle, sniffing underbrush and the long grass for anything dead or lost or unusual. Broke into empty buildings for the thrill of stealing through forbidden spaces of standing at darkened windows, invisible while the innocent traffic drove past. We perched at the lip of change, we knew it. Though in our eyes, time itself stood still. We couldn't imagine ourselves at 30, or married, or living other places. What we wanted was to see the world undress, to lie down naked somewhere dirty and fuck to do all the unspeakable things our green minds could only intuit, a communal urge we suffered alone. Half grown, we were living our life by halves. Our dreams were vacant rooms we didn't own and roamed in silence, shadows behind dark glass, our mute hearts a mystery to ourselves. 